question. Will Packer is doing a, a documentary on your guy, Doug Williams. You guys won that fabulous Super Bowl. You beat Denver in one of those Super Bowls you won. He's doing a documentary on Doug Williams. He's working on it right now. Uh, your thoughts on that? Because that was a, a monumental moment. Doug Williams at the time was the first African-American quarterback to win in a Super Bowl. And now they're going to uh, make a documentary about that. What are your, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, that? I think it's awesome. You cannot ask for... Honestly, you honestly cannot ask for a better role model than Doug Williams. I mean, he is a true patriot of the game of, of football and just life in general. What he did in his career as a black quarterback in the NFL is unbelievable. Uh, I owe my first Super Bowl to Doug Williams. I owe, uh, he made my dream come true. Uh, my first <laughs> touchdown in the Super Bowl came from Doug Williams. And honestly, he was supposed to take a, a, a blitz read and he, he gave some ground and still was able to throw the ball to me. So Doug Williams and what he's accomplished and the way he goes about his life, the way that he mentors individuals that people never even hear about. He's a true, true patriot to the game. He's, he's, they should have did a documentary a long time ago, quite honestly, about what he's accomplishing. The pressure of being a black quarterback in that Super Bowl that was brought to him. But at the end of the day, we just trying to win the football game. With that added pressure, I could not believe. I would not want to be in this place and have that additional pressure of being the first black quarterback to have an opportunity to win the Super Bowl. And, and to come through and do it in the way that he did it in style. 18 plays of magic, all with a good percentage of that being because of Doug Williams. Right. You think that uh, helped change the narrative for the black quarterback uh, that we see to this oh. day? It completely changed. It completely changed. Because at the end of the day, you know, a lot of times at that time, a lot of black quarterbacks came in the league, and then they get moved to receiver, or they get moved to running back, or they get moved to defensive back. A lot of times they weren't able to actually play the position that they were really gifted at playing. So Doug completely changed that. Because now if you look in the league, there are a ton of black quarterbacks going out there playing well, doing a great job, and showing that, you know, they're a very smart athlete because at that position, you have to be extremely intelligent. I don't care what color you are. You have to be extremely intelligent to be able to understand that playbook, to be able to make those adjustments, those changes. And Doug Williams, I mean, he just was a beast. I mean, I can't, it's a privilege just to be in the same presence. Every time that I see Doug, he knows this. I, live, I kneel down and I kiss his feet. <laughs> you know, he is, he's, he's like a god to me. He is, he is literally a football god. Well, Gary, I appreciate your, your time uh, speaking uh, with me. So, uh, the one uh, and only. You allow me to be on your show. Yeah, appreciate it. absolutely. The one and only, number 84, record-setting, legendary Gary Clark. Also, he doesn't remember this, but we played basketball together in a charity game. RG3's dad was a coach. You remember that? I sent you the picture. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I did, I did see that. Now, did I have a good game or a bad game? Oh, you had a good game. Oh, no, you had a good game, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We were on the same. We were on the same team. Oh, I didn't know if I let you down or not. No, no, no. You were. You were like the Doug Williams on the basketball court. You were caring, and I was in awe of you. You made oh, my game look better. better. I mean, that is that is one of my favorite sports. So I'm glad I was able to go out there and perform. Yeah, yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Gary, thank you for your time today. Thanks for having and, me. Uh, Appreciate it. Continue success. Uh, be safe. Thank you. Thank you. You. You guys too. Thanks All for having right. me. Take care.